Assalamu alaikum. This is Asan Rislami Mona again. And in this video, I am going to demonstrate my course project of Object Oriented Programming 2. And the project title is Automated Attendance System. And I am using C Sharp. You know, C Sharp is a programming language developed by Microsoft that runs on the .NET framework. And C Sharp is used to develop web apps, desktop apps, or mobile apps and for the database connection i am using the microsoft sql management studio and you know sql server management studio is an integrated environment for managing any sql infrastructure from sql server to azure sql database it provides tools to configure monitor and administrator instances of sql server and databases so without any further ado let's get started now i am going to run my project so this is my login panel there are three kinds of user admin faculty and a student so first i am going to log in as an admin so for login i have to type the username password and i have to select the user type then press login and this is the main dashboard so from here an admin can add course or can add a student or he or she can take attendance or see the particular students report so first I am going to add a course as you can see some courses are already added and these are loaded from database now I am going to add also another course so to do that I have to first type the course code suppose I am going to type for example CSC 2001 then the course name suppose I am going to uh, take the course uh, CVPR computer vision pattern and recognition then the section I'm going to take section A and then if I press insert there is message showing insertion done and add the course is added and I can also update any course suppose if I want to make any update in a particular course in that case i have to double press uh, over that courses and that courses information will fill up this text boxes and from here i can just change and if i press the update button uh, that course course will automatically run. suppose i want to just the now algorithm part two and if i press the update you can see algorithm part 2 is updated successfully and if i want to search any of the codes i have to just search here in this text box suppose i want to search cvpr here you can see it's just doing in the runtime okay i don't have to press any button for that and last is the deletion if i select any code suppose i want to delete the uh, artificial intelligence then I have to just double click over the artificial intelligence and all the information will fill up this text box and if I click delete this course will disappear so now I am going to the dashboard again and if I want to add any a student and I have to press this add a student button now we can see there are already some students available so if I want to add a new student, then I have to type his or her first name. So I am going to type Adnan. Then I am going to choose his course. Suppose uh, Object Oriented Programming 2. Then Section I. If I press the button add you can see this message so here's added with the id 
you can see this okay uh, so uh, if i want to update any particular student i have to just double click and all his information i'll fill up this boxes and from here i can uh, update his name uh, suppose md md advanced now and if i press update you can see update successfully and his name changed and same for delete i have to double click over the student and all all information will fill up these boxes and if i press delete you can see delete successfully and then slum gone and if i want to search any student i have to just search here like also no way is yes you can see i don't have to press any button so i'm going back to the dashboard and you can also take attendance but i prefer not to take admin to take attendance or view any report so i'm going to log in as faculty so i'm typing the username of faculty faculty and i have to type the password and i have to select the user type oh, sorry maybe yeah so i am now logging as a faculty so if i wanted to take attendance i have to click take attendance and this page will appear to take attendance as this is a automated taking attendance system so we are using a barcode to pc server scanner which is connected through wi-fi and it has also a our android version so i have already installed that android apps in my android phone and if i scan through my android phone my varsity id after scanning my id my id number will appear here and it will take in automatically so i am going to select my course and this section and i am going to scan my id so you can see it is taken out actually this is so fast and our scanner is so fast that we can see our id after that okay so we can see the report actually the attendance is taken out or taken or not okay so i am going to the report and if i search by course and the section and if i press the report button here you can see uh here i am and this count three because uh, before i have I scanned my id two times i'm going to log in as a student so i'm going to type the student username sorry You can see a student only can see the report. So I am to paste the report and this page will appear. So I want to select my course and the section and if I paste the report and all reports are available. And if I want to export this report as a Excel file, that also I can do. So if I press in the export button I can see it is taking me to the file directory and I can save this report actually so I am saving this in my uh, desktop and press save so you can see uh, here is the report and this country one two so that's it thank you